Hi Scorpio and welcome to your soulmate reading. In this reading we are going to reveal your destiny with your soulmate for this life journey and this could be for a soulmate that you have yet to meet or this could be talking about a soulmate that you have already met. So we're going to start by pulling a general message from Spirit about you and your soulmate Scorpio. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Oh, look at that, Scorpio. What does that image tell you? Very nice, very loving, very warm, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. It says, oh, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will physically or manifest physically. Wow, Scorpio, this is your soulmate, your one, where you belong, your true love. Whether you have met them yet, you are in union, or you are in separation. Okay, those of you who have yet to meet the soulmate, Spirit is saying pull yourself into the, the imagery, the energy that you see on this card. Okay, what does that inspire within you? That's the true connection between you and your soulmate. Don't focus on the fact that you have yet to meet them focus on what it is that already exists between the two of you because soulmates have had many lifetimes together so there's already a bond there Scorpio those of you in union I just feel this is a, a beautiful confirmation that yes this is where you belong and those of you in separation it is your soulmate okay but um, anytime soulmates get separated it's because they have some life lessons that they have to work on and figure out on their own but Scorpio, this is your soulmate. So let's pull some more information. And, you know, those of you who have yet to meet the soulmate will dig deeper to get some information so that you know upon meeting them, yes, this is soulmate. So let's pull some past life energy and see what's coming through there. This is often going to be impacting what you guys are experiencing this life journey. the arts ooh it's a scorpio you and this soulmate in your past life journey um were either you know like you were musicians uh, maybe you were painters you drew you wrote books you wrote songs you wrote poetry okay um you created sculptures it's just both of you share some sort of um artistic creative roots like in your last journey that was a big part of your your relationship you both had the same love for something creative and you were both very talented in that as well and so this life journey this is going to exist whether it's just a hobby for each of you or it's something that you guys you know create and build into a business or go very very far with your creative talents and abilities all right so um i know right away you both are very free spirits okay you conform to no one both of you you march to the beat of your own drum and um you may have always felt kind of like the black sheep or the outcast like even if people love you and you have friends and you're connected and everything, um, you just, you, you feel like nobody quite gets you fully, okay? And so when you meet this soulmate, they are the one that just gets you in a way nobody else has and you them and you just instantaneously click and connect all right so that is how you're going to know that soulmate for those of you who have yet to meet um those of you in union or separation the same thing you guys have some um sort of creative talent and ability or love for something that really brings you together very passionate about it all right so Let's pull some cards to look at your energy and their energy as well as the energy that exists in between the two of you. And you assign which side is which, Scorpio. Okay, 
Hey, so one of you is coming through as the Princess of Shells, the romantic um, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be you or it could be them. Um, and if it's not water energy, it's just saying this person, whoever this is, you or them, very romantic, very sensitive, tender, thoughtful, sentimental. They run very, very deep, okay? And on the other side, we have the Ten of Roses. We have stress. So we've got some fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But um, this person has a lot of responsibilities in their life at the time of this reading, okay? Um, there's a lot going on in their world. They're pulled in a lot of different directions. Um, they could just have a lot of obligations and responsibilities in this life journey. Maybe some kids or they own a business or um, they're, you know, like a, a manager or a supervisor at the company they work for. Um, they can maybe take care of family, extended family, their parents. You know, this person here just has a lot on their plate, all right? And so it may be hard for them um, to fully give this person what they are giving to them, all right? So if we have yet to meet Scorpio, it's because one of you really has a like there's just no room in um, one of your lives at this time, and that's partly why we haven't come into union. Okay, there's other factors into play, but um, you know, you do have a soulmate, Scorpio, and if you've not met them yet, it's because um, either you or them has to uh, work some things out in personal life and, and create the space, create the room for true love, okay? Those of you who are separated, it's the same thing. One of you is completely ready and in love, and the other one, it's just like there's not enough space in their life at this time to give um, love and romance the full, undivided attention that it needs, okay? So, um, and that may or may not be what separated you, but one of you definitely has a very, very full plate, and that's just like um, too much, for them to the point where it's like, I, I can't, they may desire love, but to really um, be in a fully committed love, be what they need to be, this person, they're just, they're not ready yet. There's way too much going on in their life. And those of you who are in union, you know, um, again, it's like one of you is it's very worried, um, feeling kind of overwhelmed, and the other one is just very sweet, very solid, very sincere. Let me be there. Let me help you out. And in between, wow, we've got the eight of wings in decision. All right. So... I do always try to read these as, you know, if you're single, if you're separated, or if you're in union, always, 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 since it is general, you know, try to get the three different main storylines so all of you could get something out of these readings. Um, but with this coming out in between, it's really hard for me to read this as uh, soulmates in union right now because the Eight of Wings is the Eight of Swords, which is restriction, um, confusion, blockage. Um, so this that really falls more into line for those who have yet to meet or those who are in separation, okay? Um, those of you who have yet to meet, it's because one of you, I'm telling you, has way too much going on in their world and they have, there's not enough left of them to give. Like that's what's going on with your soulmate or that's what's going on with you and that's why your soulmate hasn't come in yet because there's not enough space in your world yet to give that, um, you know, amount of love and energy to the soulmate because what you guys have is something very special and beautiful that you will, um, you know, activate and then further grow and evolve into through your journey. But there is a soulmate, Scorpio. It's just a uh, plate very full. Those of you is separated, again, it's somebody just, there's just not enough of them. If you are in union, um, it, to me, it would be where one of you is feeling very um, overlooked and unloved 
because the other person has focus in so many other places of life that they just they don't give enough in okay so if you're in union that's kind of how I would um, be reading that right now like this this side just isn't ready even if they are there they're not ready there's too much going on and where this side is like extending their cup let me love you let me be there for you so let's look at your life journey for this incarnation and why it is this way at this time Incomplete. Connection mistaken as twin flame. Healing soulmate connection. Sexual attachment. Sexual nostalgia. All right, well, <laughs> all that chemistry and passion we picked up on right there, boom, there it is. All right, Scorpio, um, I'm going to start for those of you who are separated. You know, what I think has happened here is, you know, you guys had a pretty intense connection, a really hot connection going on. And you guys may have, you know, butted heads because, again, one of you is open and ready and the other one just has so much going on that the current incompatibilities made one or both of you think, oh, this is just, this is not where I'm meant to be. Like, despite this beautiful, deep connection, despite all this passion and chemistry, this isn't where I belong. Like, we're just we're too incompatible or there's just certain things that were very very frustrating and you or them may have chopped it up to oh this is just a sexual attachment because of how deep this runs when you guys are physical with each other okay but the truth is through separation you both feel very incomplete without the other you never um will be the same okay you really won't what you meet um this is your soulmate this is your one all right and um it's just one of you has way too much going on and i think that created like a, a lot of friction and tension here and you know eventually you separated well both of you feel incomplete without each other but i think due to the heaviness you know you or they have tried to say oh no this was just you know a karmic this was just what it what it was it was you know it was the sex it was the sex it wasn't it went far deeper than that because we have the healing soulmate connection here as well so i just feel that um the incompatibilities that existed got um blown up much bigger than they truly were and you one or both of you lost kind of sight of the connection that exists here this deep beautiful soul bond and so you go separate ways but you guys will not forget each other. You won't. There is nobody else for you. There is nobody else for them. All right. It's just um, one person's got to figure it out and has got to get it together and make the space, make the room for true love. They could be very afraid. They could have been burned in a lot of relationships in the past. So it makes them hesitant. It, it makes them weary of really investing and going deep. Or they could just be very focused on building themselves, growing themselves themselves right now very 3d based which makes it hard for them to connect into those deeper uh, emotions of love and commitment and connection and doing what they need to do to be in a relationship okay so in separation that's why we're apart right now and the timetable in which you guys you know figure it out and come back together is going to be different for all of you because this is a general reading now those of you who have yet to meet this soulmate Scorpio I do feel that both of you um, ha before coming into union met somebody else that you really believed was your one where you belonged okay um, you both could have even uh, been married to other people prior to coming into this union. It's just, um, I see both of you being with other people, thinking that's the one, that's where you belong, 
and uh, you know things went south and those relationships ended because they were only karmics and I do feel that it really uh, destroyed both of you okay it truly did the loss of that relationship felt like the loss of your true soulmate as well as for them okay and so when you guys finally meet and come together you are going to receive the deepest healing you have ever known with each other okay you are going to rediscover life and love and what it means to be in a partnership um, through your connection with each other and this painful past this heartbreak of the past is going to just wash away and you guys have a very strong um, physical chemistry and connection as well as this deep 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 soul connection okay so those of you who have yet to meet this soulmate it looks as though you had um, a pretty intense karmic that you both were intended to be in to really teach you and grow you and prepare you for each other essentially so all of those heavy lessons that we all have to learn you know in romance in partnerships is learned through other people so you guys are very grown and evolved when you come into union so your connection is about soul is about love loving each other supporting each other just enjoying life with each other and there is some creative ability or talent that you both share that um, is just more enhanced coming in union or you guys really have the same love for some sort of arts and um, again it's very connecting for the two of you okay so those of you who have not met this soulmate yet you both are still working on healing and letting go of this karmic that you both thought was the one all right and those of you in separation um, it's like one of you just really needs to wake up and, and figure it out and um, connect into the heart, connect into the soul. Right now, very 3D based. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. nine of gems independence under incomplete so yeah this just right here confirms that this the reading for the Scorpios you are either single and have yet to meet this soulmate or you are currently separated from the soulmate because this is being single all right and it sits um, right under this incomplete so um, whether we have met this if we have yet to meet the soulmate um, through the singleness like there's a, a part of you that knows okay that there's somebody that you belong with you just you know it and when you meet this person finally it's like this puzzle piece comes into place and you're just awakened and you're activated those of you in separation here I am single and I'm missing a piece of myself I'm missing a piece of my heart because I'm separated from my soulmate okay six of shells coming out under this uh, connection mistaken as twin flame next is five of roses competition five of wings defeat and king of shells the visionary so here's some more water energy cancer scorpio pisces could be you it could be your soulmate all right so yeah you know we've already gone over that and here we are those of you who have yet to meet your true soulmate this was a very intense karmic relationship that you both have with other people where you both truly truly believed um, that this was your one okay this is where you belonged but it wasn't and so things went bad and you and this karmic could have went back and forth back and forth and same for your soulmate and their karmic it could be back and forth back and forth back and forth okay um, but there comes a point for those of you um, you know where that you were entangled in this karmic where you realize that this is never where you belonged and it happens before you meet your true soulmate okay there's a part of your heart that feels incomplete and it's not incomplete because this relationship is over it, it's a different um, feeling that you can't quite put your finger on okay so singles um, this right here was very intense for you very intense for your soulmate you guys are gonna have a very similar experience with the 
these karmics and you'll be able to bond and connect deeper with each other through the sharing of that okay those of you who are in separation this is a bit of a different message this is where we because of the incompatibility in when we were in union and how frustrating and hard that was and we walked away one of you um, or both of you at the time could have been like you know what no this is not who I belong with okay however there comes this realization okay all right this is who I belong with because I don't feel complete without them all right um, so in separation Scorpio this here is like you guys are gonna come back together in union it's just really about somebody prioritizing and getting their life in order and making love making romance a true priority having honor and loyalty and value for love and romance okay um, whether you've yet to meet this soulmate or you're separated you know you guys could have gone through a crappy karmic as well and that if this person has gone through that then you know they could be very closed off off in the soulmate connection initially because of how badly they were screwed over in their their karmic connection okay and it's just gonna take some time but um, those of you in separation you will come back together in union all right you both feel incomplete without the other there's a part of your heart that um, is just there they'll never leave it and and same goes for them um, I'm more apt to feel this as you since this is the water energy okay and that this is them because this is showing us fire energy over there and they've just got to figure it out they do and they're not focused even if they like are dating other people or whatever there nobody has their heart but you that's the truth Scorpio nobody has their heart but you okay they're just um, they it's hard for them to go deep they they don't want to face that they don't want to deal with that they they keep themselves very busy very occupied I don't have enough time I don't have enough time we make time for what matters to us right um, they're very much in the avoidance of deep emotions at this time at the time of this reading okay and in order for this to come back together it's like they've got to figure it out they've got to make the time they've got to make the space and they eventually will because there's a part of their heart that feels incomplete without you Scorpio 100% and the uh, physical relations that you guys shared unmatched so not only do you have this beautiful soulmate bond that is unmatched the physical connection is unmatched as well but it might be too much it might be too intense it might make them afraid because you know again 3d over here very focused in that energy and it, it may freak them out a bit but there is going to be an evolution here they are going to have an awakening all right because you guys are meant to be like this is your true love this is your soulmate it's just going to take some time for this person to figure it out and, and get it together okay and those of you who have yet to meet this soulmate Scorpio it's the healing process of past connections and relationships that must be overcome um, so that you guys can both have an open heart 100% with no emotional baggage for each other, okay? So let's pull some more tarot. The magician energy, yeah, this just confirms that this is for... Scorpios who have yet to meet this soulmate in this journey or you're separated from them at this time because you're only feeling the energy of each other. There's no um, physical connection there yet. But you are meant to be. You are meant to be. This person is your one. You will marry them or um, if you don't believe in that, it's like you guys will be together for the rest of your days once this person figures it out. Okay. And lastly, the Seven of Roses, Courage. Um, yeah, a lot of defense, okay? Just some energies have to be worked out. It's like over here is ready, okay? Even if they've been working on healing from a past karmic, like they've done a lot of work. They're ready. 
they, they want love. They want the connection, whether you've met them yet um, or you're separated. This over here, I am ready. Over here, I got so much going on. And it's just going to take some time for this person to like get it together to figure it out and so if you haven't met them once that takes place spirits gonna align you okay it's just gonna bring them right into your life Scorpio um, and those of you separated it's like once all of this energy can be untangled it things are gonna rapidly change okay because this is your true soulmate you both feel incomplete without each other this is where you belong but right now it's just the energetic connection that you have to work with it's like we haven't met or we are separated and um, you know it's there as well but we know why and the timetable in which you meet this soulmate or you reconnect with this soulmate is different for each of you this is a general read but spirit really wants to confirm for some of you okay and so if this reading has resonated to your core spirit is speaking to you answering those questions that you've been putting out there about your true love about where you belong this life journey this just jumped out and it says from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect, yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred, for they each help us grow in love and wisdom. So, um, you know, from a physical perspective, this person, very 3D, very physical, they need to shift into that 5D, into that higher spiritual perspective about life, about themselves, about um, love and connection in general. All right, so let's pull you a couple more. I feel you forever in my heart. Mm -hmm. Those of you in separation, this is for you. I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. I mean, could that describe a Scorpio any better? than this right here. This right here. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. All right? You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. You and this soulmate, I'm telling you, you both march to the beat of your own drums. You're very unique, but you guys are the same unique as each other, okay? And that's another reason why you bond. So um, in separation, you know, here it is. They, they feel the absence of you in their heart they do they've just got they've got to figure it out okay and those of you who have yet to meet this soulmate they're going to recognize you and the depth that you are and that your love is totally unmatched by anybody i mean that falls on their side so let's pull one last one positive and loving thoughts are instrumental in creating positive loving relationships fear and doubt only serve to create greater uncertainty think more about what is right in your relationship and less on what you think is wrong and so in separation focus on the love and the bond that is there rather than the problems and the separation those of you who have yet to meet this soulmate Focus on coming into union with this soulmate that you will align when the time is right, that there is somebody out there for you and you guys are a perfect fit with each other. Okay, you are. So those are your messages, Scorpio. I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light. Take care.